Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Well, you guys, we have done it. This is the last reading for 2019. This will be our new moon reading. And for those who don't understand, let me repeat myself again. This is not a full reading. Okay, sometimes people are coming and looking at these new moon and full moon readings, think they're getting a whole full-fledged reading, and that's not what this is. This is just a very mini reading just to give you an idea where you need to set your intentions, especially for this new moon, which is in Capricorn, and we also have a solar eclipse that I understand is going to be phenomenal. Um, it's not going to be able to be seen from um, parts of the world. I think the western side of the world, but uh, but those are in the eastern side. I understand you're going to be able to get a good view of it, okay? So just a few uh, announcements. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for those who continue to support the channel, you guys. I read all of the comments, and you just don't know how much that blesses me. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right next to the like, the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Hit that bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Now, just as a reminder, remember that these messages will flip flop. So, if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Um, remember, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Oh, and hello to our cross watchers out there. Okay, you guys, I have already pre shuffled. I I am just so exci excited that we have gotten to the end of 2019. I'm excited for what the things that's going to happen, not just for myself, but for you too, for 2020. All right, so now we're going to get into this new moon reading, and also the new moon is in the sign of Capricorn. Now, on to your reading. Hello to my Libras. Okay, my Libras, let's get right into your reading. And you guys, once again, if you don't know how to set your intentions, go to our New Moon playlist and we have instructions there, an instruction video. Okay, let's get right into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions for the New Moon occurring on December 26, 2019. What messages need to go forth? Okay. <clears throat> okay, my Libras. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions for the new moon occurring on December 26, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Wow, that went right in its spot perfectly. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions? I thought we had a flipper. Oh, there it is. Okay, there is a flipper. I, knew. I felt something was going on in that deck. Okay, make sure we don't have any more. It was a lot of energy going through there. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign? Another flipper. Oh, two. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on December 26, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of... All right, now that one actually flipped right over these two. So I'm going to put those right there. So I can see what reference those have to that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. 
and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So this could mean that who you're in a relationship with is, is not your usual type, okay? Um, you've decided to go outside of the box or this is something that you need to do. You know, come out of your usual type. So if you're used to, you know, dating somebody from a different race, you may be looking at another race. If you're used to dating people with a certain type of background, you may come out of that, you know, that characteristic now and, and venture out a little bit more. Um, but whoever it is, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. Okay, so somebody needs to, needs to talk. So um, whoever's in your life right now, I feel like it's somebody that's already in your life that you're having to have a discussion with and you're having to keep an open mind, which means that, you know, not to be so rigid, not to be so tight, but, you know, be flexible. And not, and not only that, this is what I'm hearing too, um, try to see a situation from somebody else's standpoint. You know, it may not be your way all the time. You know, of course it's not uh, because we all have different opinions, different mindsets. But I'm feeling in this situation, you really need to open up your mind some and see a, see somebody else's perspective in this situation. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So say, heaven is saying, I'm giving you a protected space, but I need for you to uh, understand be more understanding and not, you know, not trying to control because you feel like if you control the situation, um, that you, you don't have to open up yourself and, and, you know, open up yourself to hurt or pain. It's not about that spirit of saying you're protected, but you need to be vulnerable. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word. You need to be vulnerable. You don't want to be vulnerable in a situation. You're going to need to be vulnerable. Okay. So keep an open mind, have that heart to heart conversation about the, the topic that you don't want to talk about. You're protected. It's a safe space, but you need to be honest with yourself. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So Spirit is saying you need to practice doing this. You need to practice keeping this open in mind. You need to practice being vulnerable. You need to practice really telling somebody your true feelings about something. Look, admit you can't make this up. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. I mean, there it is. That's what I, that's what I felt. I felt like you need to be vulnerable and you can't be vulnerable until you're truthful with yourself. That is the first step. Explore your options and in innocence. So spirit is saying, you know, look at different options. Look, you know, be innocent in this. When we're talking about different options, doesn't mean looking at different people. I, I feel like that has nothing to do with this. Exploring options, that means understanding it's not only your way. There are other people's perspectives. There's other ways of looking at things. It's not just a one-track road, okay? So when the Spirit is saying explore the options, explore the different ways that, you know, people, other people can have different perspectives on things, and it doesn't mean that they're wrong. So you need to be open to that. Okay, these two fell on top of protection. Spirit says success and within the next few months. So whatever's going to happen within the next few months is going to be successful. But not only that, it is protected. So that is, that is very, very important. Not only is it going to be successful, something's going to be manifesting in the next few months. But it is protected. It is, it's, it's, it's God sent. Okay, and so this is very, very important. It's like the universe is passing this to you. So whatever this is, and I'm sure you'll understand, you'll understand it more, more than better than I'm understanding it. But whatever is resonating with you as far as whatever you're working on, or it might be a relationship or a project, I have no idea. This has been sent to you by God, and it is protected. Okay, but you got to be truthful about really what's happening right now. And that's the only way you're going to be able to get from point A to point B on this. And point B is being the, you know, the, the, the successful part is understanding what it is that you really need to talk about and having a heart to heart conversation about it and what it is that you really admit, need to admit the truth to, to yourself about. Okay. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye.